What's going on YouTube? I haven't been on here for a minute, but I'm finally back. Uh, and today I just kind of wanted to do a full day of eating because uh, I've been getting recently asked uh, for a full day of eating and stuff like that uh, on my other socials. So today I'm just going to take you through what an inspiring bodybuilder as myself is eating right now in the off season, I guess you would say. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into it. I don't know if you can see it. But I have 100 grams of egg whites, uh, two whole eggs, some sugar-free ketchup, and five ounces of potatoes. Uh, I usually switch up my meals every now and then, uh, but they're usually pretty much roughly the same. I just kind of switch them out throughout the day. Uh, so this is pretty much my staple go-to breakfast. All right. I didn't eat this, but absolutely smacked that. 10 out of 10 meal. But we got to go to school, so let's go. Also, they're like, peep the drip. Peep the drip. Like, I got the cell ones. Some clean Nike socks. Also, they're deep, yes. I like to wear my shoes. A little Nike woven shorts. The vintage metallic tee. Ooh. I can do that. Like, I mean, it's decent. It's decent. Also, this bag right here. Fucking OP. Uh, I keep all my prep meals in it and like all my snacks that I eat throughout the day. It's just, it's a goaded bag. So, how they working? I think I have everything. Gotta throw the trash for my mother. You know, trying to be responsible. Not sure that I'm responsible before I head out. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to move to Dallas soon, hopefully. Me and Bert. By the end of this year, so that'll be dope, especially. If I get the YouTube backing up and running, I'm pushing out some good content. That'll be 10 times better for this channel. So that'll be dope to see. Got to throw this trash. Then we're off to school. Cutting hair. Here with the famous Ryan Shoots Raw. <laughs> Just sitting up over here at the shop. But, second meal, I guess like first snack of the day, really. I just stopped by the gas station. I just get an iced coffee. And then one of these, macros on these are fucking great. I don't know if you can see it. 210 calories for 40 grams of protein. So it's pretty much a double scoop of any whey protein you get from the, uh, from the sup supplement company. And I just literally use this as creamer. And I'll just sip on this throughout the day. It's definitely higher in calories, but I enjoy it just because I enjoy drinking coffee. And I have two scoops of protein in my plan anyways for my coach. So it's pretty much the same macros. With this plus the coffee, at max it's like 220 calories. It's not bad at all. So I'll probably cut a couple of heads and then... Uh, I'll have my second meal roughly around the time of day. I guess I didn't even my phone in. I would say it's probably around 1 o'clock. So I'll probably have my second meal in about 30 to 40 minutes. So catching that. All right, so just finished up a cut. Uh, and it's about, I left, my, <laughs> I left my phone out there again. But it's about like 1.30 now. Uh, so just making my second meal of the day. So I got these little minute jasmine, uh, jasmine cups. Warm up for a minute, so I got that. Some uh, jasmine rice, six ounces of uh, chicken, and then I got about roughly 100 grams of broccoli. I was running out of broccoli, so I gotta make some more. But uh, damn, this is really hard to open with one hand. G Hughes always comes clutch. This is like pretty much the only like sauce thing that I use. So this is the teriyaki one. Fucking good, dude. Because I love like kibachi and like. Chinese style food, so that just kind of gives me that taste. Like since I can't eat that, so it just kind of gives me the taste of it. I usually run like roughly like two servings, which is only 10 calories, dude. Like two servings for 10, and it, the flavor is strong, so it's like you don't have to put that much in it. So uh, I'll show y'all when this is uh, ready and done. All right, so just kind of put this all together. I'm sorry if you can't really hear me. Cause there's a lot of noise going on. I mean, it's a barbershop, so it's hard. 
uh, I got a class right here and the music. I'm probably gonna get copyrighted for the music, but oh well. Uh, so I just got it all mixed together. And I literally, I just take one of these, one of these spoons. I'm pretty sure this is about a teaspoon, bro. So I literally just do four of these. Alright, cool. You can see the little puddle of sauce. Like, it's not that much, but it goes a long way, honestly. And I'm roughly eating around 2,100 calories, really focusing on my protein. And uh, I do kind of high fats, so uh, carbs are moderate. But I'm gonna chow this down. I got a walk in waiting on me, so I'm gonna hurry up and eat this. I get back to you. So it's been. I don't know, this is a long, busy Friday, so Fridays are always our busiest days. Obviously, everybody likes to get their haircut on Friday, but I was supposed to eat my third meal like two hours ago. So as you can see, time crunch is, is serious right now, because I was supposed to be at the gym like right now. So I gotta fit in two meals before I go work out. Well, not necessarily, I could save my third meal for after the gym but I really haven't eaten that much so I'd rather have some more fuel in me and I'll just eat my pre-workout meal on the way to go work out which is just rice cakes and a banana but I'm fixing two some brown rice and I got seven ounces of sirloin steak I believe I'm gonna chow this down clean up my station uh, let it digest for a little bit and uh, then I'll head off to the gym so let's get into this one hey, baby fucking battery's about to die you know what the fuck we do? we on right now? This is Headlines Barber College slash Getting Swole Season, baby. So, I was supposed to have a cup, a full cup of brown rice with this, but it turns out my rice was old, so now I'm just having seven ounces of steak. But I'll add in the calories to like a later meal or something today. Uh, and I'll just probably eat the banana and the rice cakes with this meal, so. Put this down in my stomach, let it digest for a little bit. I mean, we got a big leg day today, so I'm gonna try and fuel up pretty pretty fast because I was supposed to be there already, but I'll probably be there by 7, 7 30, 6 30 right now. So, thank you. <laughs> now I got two of these and then one of these. For some quick carbs before I head to the gym. And yeah, and you know I'm finna smack this, you know what I'm saying? Alright, let's get to it. So, that was it for school. Heading out about 7 o'clock. I usually, since it, since it was a Friday, I stayed a little bit later because it was busy. Uh, but I usually get out about 5 o'clock and I'm about at the gym about 6. Uh, I only come from 1 to 5, so. <clears throat> Just to get some hours in. So when I move to Dallas, I can have... Uh, my license and I can work in a shop down there and I don't have to oh my god it's pissing me off Ugh. but so when I move down to Dallas I'll have my barber's license and I don't have to really worry about finding a job down there I can just kind of find a shop and cut out my own hours and stuff like that so yeah finish that up now we're heading off to the gym got a big leg day you know since our legs are small hitting legs twice a week yeah hitting legs twice a week because Really trying to make these legs grow right now. Trying to catch Jesus. I'm trying to catch them up to the rest of my body. Uh, Cause I do think my upper body's more dominant than my legs right now. But I do want to have dominant legs. So always going hard. This is our hardest day of any workout. I definitely got to give this 120%. So pretty fueled up. Two rice cakes, some steak, and a banana. Feel pretty good. So let's go get this workout in, man. Just got back from the gym. Definitely dog tired, but go check out the post that I posted on Instagram from the mean ass leg pump I had. But getting into the last meal, I'm pretty sure this battery is about to die. So if I switch over to my phone, just know that's why. I don't have any other batteries because I haven't charged them in days. But I'm gonna make this last meal, or I might have another snack right before I go to sleep, depending on how many calories I have left. So yeah, I'm gonna have some steak and potatoes. It's a staple in the diet. I love it. I don't get bored of it. It's too good to be bored. So I'm gonna make it this. Um, 
that's a clutch right there, by the way. Perfect potatoes. All right. To finish up the last meal, I ended up putting chicken. Six ounces of chicken instead of steak. Uh, just fit the macro just a little bit better. So, also got one serving of the Maggi Hughes on here. He always comes clutch of making the food taste better. So, this is the last meal. Uh, hit all the macros today. I will pop those up right here. All right, absolutely smacked that last meal. Um, but that's going to be pretty much wrapping up what I eat in a day. Um, it's not too exciting. Uh, I, I do uh, throw some different things in here and there. I never eat the same thing like every single day. I just kind of go off macro base. Um, but it's usually roughly around the same thing. It's around the same foods, but like not everything's the same thing at the same time. You know what I'm saying? But so for today, I hit 2,091 calories uh, macro wise. Let's see, protein 203 grams, uh, fat 44 grams, and carbs at 204 grams. So I still had, I could have got a bit more protein in today if I would have. Went a little bit less down on the carbs. So I also just wanted to talk real quick, just being back on YouTube, uh, just like what I'm doing now. So like, obviously, if you're not following me on any of my other socials or anything like that, I mean, it's pretty obvious by now. If you're not, then you wouldn't know. But if you are, it's pretty obvious by now. I am um, chasing this bodybuilding life. Um, I've hired a coach and stuff like that. Uh, and I think we're really, really doing good together, working well together. Um, definitely making major, major progress already, just a one month in. And the difference is very noticeable, honestly. Uh, so big shout out to him, man. Uh, aiming to start competing mid next year, hopefully. I don't know. I'll talk more with that uh, with my coach and stuff. But And also, I do have my first cycle coming up pretty soon so that's very exciting and I know a lot of people will probably think like okay dude well next month I'm 19 but you know you're young uh whatever this and that I know the risk I know what I'm getting myself into I know you know I, I know the risks of it and taking it and what comes with it so with that being said this is something that I want to chase this is something that I want to do all the side effects and all the stuff like that but this is something generally I have fell in love with and want to take very seriously and want to get a pro card and go beyond that. I want to step on the Olympia stage uh, in my lifetime. So, I mean, this is just what comes with it, you know, um, not saying you can't do very well naturally. You obviously can with great genetics, but this is just a part of the sport. And so this is the first big step in my bodybuilding career per se uh so i'm definitely looking forward to this first cycle hopefully everything goes well i respond well to to the cycle it's nothing major but uh yeah so this is what i'm doing now i am now in the bodybuilding realm of things so super exciting but yeah this is pretty much the first uh youtube video of me transitioning into a bodybuilder and what it takes and uh, kind of what steps I take or whatever and stuff like that. So if y'all have any other uh, fitness questions, video ideas, anything like that, just drop that down uh, in the comment section below. Make sure to hit the thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. Man, super exciting, but definitely have some videos planned. Definitely want to document uh, my whole cycle, how I feel and stuff like that. So there's going to be plenty of videos uh, touching on that and stuff like that. But other than that, this has been the full day of eating. Um to get to where I'm trying to be to compete next year. So other than that, it's me, Boy Sinjin. I'm out of here.